Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're all keeping uh, well and um, are in fine fettle. As the title of um, this video suggests, it's a uh, bit of a vinyl finds and buys. Um, stuff I picked up from a record fair about a good month ago or so now, when I started doing um, VC videos. Um, there's a couple of bits from a local car boot sale. That um, particular avenue of pleasure has been closed to me for a while because um, I haven't got a car at the minute. And the other one is, um, well, thank God for Discogs. <laughs> um, what, what a brilliant thing Discogs is. I, I much prefer it to um, eBay. Um, Amazon, I've never ordered a record off Amazon. I know Rob Walker orders a lot, um, but I have heard some horror stories, but I suppose you get that off um, Discogs and eBay as well. So anyway, um, here we go. We'll start off with a few seven inch singles. First up, um, yeah, this is a Discogs purchase. Monkeys. I don't know if this is some sort of a promotional EP. Um, sort of a custom label there. Released in the late 80s. Um, Last Train to Clarksville. That's my favourite. absolutely love that song. Pleasant Valley Sunday. Another corker. I'm a believer. I've heard it that many times on the radio. I'm getting a bit sick of it. Um, I do have a Monkey's Greatest Hits LP. I very rarely play it. Um, my favourite two songs are on this EP. I might get rid of the LP. I might keep it. We'll see. Next one up. Billy Bragg, Levi Stubbs Tears. Not a massive fan of Billy Bragg. There's a label. Injection moulded. Um, yeah, but this is this is quite a good song by him. Um, I think Rob Walker's a bit of a fan. Um, not, I'm not really. But like I say, it was cheap, great tune. Um, this one, Tammy Lynn. I'm gonna a great sort of northern soul dance track. I listen to a golden oldie type radio station when I'm at work in the lorry and I've heard this one a few times on there and I kept saying I really really must get hold of it and then I came across it by accident grabbed it the vinyl's not in the um, best condition I don't know if you can... you probably can't pick it up there's a few sort of marks on it and that but it plays really really well um, I've got a Sex Pistols, um, Sex Pistols Ronnie Biggs 7 inch single in the collection. It looks like somebody's cat has been skating on it with the claws. And, but, it, but again, plays really, really well. So yeah, great tune, great addition to my uh, Northern Soul collection. Um, I've had a good run on Blondie singles recently. Union City Blue. Picture sleeve, blue injection moulded label. Blondie dreaming. Again, another blue injection moulded label, chrysalis. Those were all um, Discogs pur purchases. Surprise, surprise, blue injection moulding. Um, I came across those when I was looking through um, a seller's um, stuff up for sale on his Discogs page. I'd, I'd just purchased um, something else and I, I, I generally have a look through what, what else they're selling. You never know what you're going to come across. You never know. It's always worth looking. Police Roxanne, I've been after this one for ages. Great tune. The blue A&M. I, I believe it's different colours of this um, A&M logo. 
He also did a lot on um, coloured vinyl. I think the song's about a prostitute. Um, not quite sure. I have to double check that. Good song, nevertheless. Elvis Costello, Radio Radio. Um, I wasn't after this one. I'm after the um, Pump It Up. Pump It Up. Du -du 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 Pump It Up. Another great tune of his. I was looking for that on Discogs and I came across this by accident well, and it was cheap enough and I thought, well, what the hell. I'm still after pumping up. I'll find it. I'll find it eventually. At a reasonable price. I'm not going to be held to ransom. Um, the Madness. Of course, it, it, it it's madness. But um, the late 80s, he had a bit of a hiatus. Uh, the band's founder, Mike Barson, um, when went and um, moved to Holland. I think they were all sort of um, a bit like the specials when they sort of split, living in each other's pockets. You know, he never had a break, never never had a rest. And um, there was a bit of a vote as to what madness should rebrand themselves as. And um, some bright spark came up with the madness. It's not a bad song I pronounce you. On the Virgin label. The um this comes in a in in a shaped picture disc. There might even be two that sort of join together like this image. They cost you an absolute arm and a leg. You're looking at about 50 quid each if you're lucky enough to find one. Um I absolutely love a good company record sleeve. In, in fact, I like them more so than um, picture sleeves. This is one of my favourite Queen tracks, Seven Seas of Rye. I think I prefer their earlier sort of stuff to the to the more sort of modern era. Great tune, Seven Seas of Rye. I've got a copy of Fat Bottom Girls as well. I think that's, that's my favourite Queen track. This one isn't too far behind. And of course, like I just mentioned, a great EMI company sleeve see what a fool I've been <laughs> yeah. I've said that to myself many a time in the past um, ok that's the 7 inch singles we'll move on to 12 inch singles next back in a bit ok uh, VC um, we'll, we'll finish off this video with um, a small handful of uh, 12 inch singles I do have some LPs um, from Car Boots and uh, the Record Fair and um, Discogs, but um, oh, and a few bits my uh, my daughter purchased from the record fair as well. She she's not heavily into buying records. She will buy the odd one. She collects um, anything to do with horror films and all that. She's got a horror soundtrack um, that she picked up. But um, yeah, twelve inch singles. We'll do these, and we'll, next video we'll do the LPs, etc. Um, Pete Shelley, Homo Sapien. Um, all I know about Pete Shelley, front man for the Buzzcocks. And that's about it. I, I didn't even know he had a um, single, singles um, career, to be honest. A um, bit of an electronic sort of um, dance affair, this one. Um Let's show the vinyl, you can see the label. There we go. It's probably a bit blurry. I know how you all like to see the labels. Yeah, I wouldn't really call it um, sort of dance, pop, electronic pop. Like um, like, you, like you say, the Human League. It's, um, I don't know, a bit more heavier than that. I think more sort of... Um, craft work and, and perhaps the very early very early stuff from the human league not a bad not a bad tune so that's uh yeah homo sapien pete shelley 12 inch single um next one record fair boy um this was in the uh vendors um reggae and scar and skinhead type um section um it was only two quid, 
and it um, caught my attention because of the um, people, uh, the names of the bands and that on the on the sleeve. Um, UB40, Madness, The Pioneers, Specials, General Public. Well, General Public came after the beat. Um, that's Rankin, Roger and Dave Wakelin. Um, Saxa, saxophone, also did some stuff with them. Dick Couple, you might recognise the name. Um, he played cornet and uh, flugelhorn as well. I've never even... I wouldn't know what a bloody flugelhorn looks like. He played... Alongside uh, Rico Rodriguez um, with the specials. Um, all I know about this is it's one of those charity type um, records for like um, famine relief in Africa. Some uh, notes there on the back. All proceeds from the Saladris record, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, famine relief. Um, you may not recognise. The label, Zarjaz. If you're a Madness fan, you'll know about this because this is the um, Madness. It's their own label. Um, they put um, they put their records out on their own label for a period of time in the late eighties. Um, I'm not sure the label's still going now. Um, you can see distributed by um, Virgin. So yeah, it's um it's an interesting listen. I've I've even listened to the um it's a bit of a world music affair on the B side. African sort of stuff. Um none of the names there ring any bells with me. But yeah, it's okay. For two quid, it's a bit of a curiosity. Um this band now. B-52's Channel Z, or Ch Channel Z. <laughs> um, great tune. I, I, I must admit, I love the B-52's. They're a great fun band. Uh, Rock Lobster, what a tune that was. I, I've got that in seven inch single. Um, Fred, lead vocal, well, male vocalist. I wouldn't say exactly lead. Um, one of the ladies probably more pom prominent in the singing department. Um, yeah, everybody should make a bit of room in their hearts or the, well, their record collection for the B-52s. There's the label. Reprise or reprise. Later version of the label. Cracking tune. Love the B-52s. Um, finally, Thomas Dolby. She blinded me with science. Um, yeah, if you watch the video to this, um, there's a chap that appears in it called um, Dr. Magnus Pike. Um, very prominent in the um, 70s, late 70s into the early 80s, very early 80s. Um, one of these science types who um, used to be a bit of a celebrity on television very much into um getting kids into science subjects and sort of appearing on telly with um experiments etc etc trying to trying to make science look a bit less daunting making it more fun for kids to try and get into and and um adults as well i suppose um sadly no longer with us um i remember reading a story in the paper oh donkey's years ago he He'd been um, robbed and attacked at home. You know, there was a picture of him sat there, all battered and black-eyed and bruised up. Um, yeah, what a bunch of bastards who did that. Um, bit of an eccentric, I suppose you'd call him, but a really lovable chap. And I took a bit of a punt with this 12-inch um, single, and there's the reason why. Blank label... Blank label. I thought, crikey. I know it was only a couple of quid, but you don't want to pay a couple of quid for a record. Take it home, put it on the turntable and find out it's not what you think it is. Um, but luckily for me, yeah, it's correct. It is the right song, etc, etc. Um, I don't know if that was, if, if that's a, a genuine thing. It's supposed to be like that. Or some sort of mistake at the pressing plant. 
I haven't a clue. If anybody else, um, Rob Walker, Static Traveller, any anybody like that from Britain, if you've got a copy of this, let me know. Let me know if your copy has the inner labels in the middle of the um, record. So, I don't know, it could be a bit of a, a lucky sort of treasure trove type find, but it's, it's a cracking song anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the 12-inch singles. Like I say, I do have some LPs and that. Um, I'll save them for another video. I, I am expecting more stuff in the post this week, um, including some more and jewellery goodies to add to my um, ever-expanding collection. Hope to get a video of that done soon. Um, there'll be more... Um, buys and finds etc coming um, and possibly two more videos including this one being uploaded today any thoughts ideas questions comments if you just want to say hello please do i don't bite love speaking to people whether it's um in person or via the vc etc hope to see you soon cheerio